2016 presidency, Dr. Rachel Grimes and Maggie Moffitt. Each one of these candidates is going to introduce themselves and their platforms to you, starting with Ms. Moffitt. Oh, Kevin Spacey took me aside and he said, if you were actually in office, there's one thing I would want you to do. And what Kevin said was, I would want you to kick kindergartners. He hates children. <laughs> <laughs> he hates them because they're younger than him and they will eventually take roles from him. Um, anyway, that's something about Kevin. But I have many other friends in the industry. Name anyone I've, you know, been on a set with them and probably accosted them. Uh, anyway, but one of the other people, Meryl Streep. Gosh, Meryl would always say, save the elephants or rhinos from extinction. Not both. <laughs>
train. I'm also a uh, third degree black belt in Taekwondo. And so, <laughs> <laughs> you gotta get ready, because it is coming. All right, let's do this, America. So you heard what these candidates are going to be fighting for during tonight's game show, Pogus Among Us! Yeah. In your program, you've got a card. It looks exactly like this. And these, this is the gauntlet that these candidates are going to have to run through tonight to earn your vote. They're going to scream and scrim and pander to get your attention. Again, we're sponsored by Bombay Sapphire, Bacardi Limon, and Dos Equis. I hope you got a drink during the intermission. If you want to hear and see the candidates go through one of these squares, I just need you to yell it out as loud as you can. Number two! people that are also zombies and can fucking kill you, Dr. Rhymes. Yeah. Our whole family supporting her, and I think you should too. Remember, if you want to have a good night tonight, you'll support her. If you don't, I wouldn't go to sleep tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Professor Bob Ford. Hey there, America. Good to see you again. Uh, for me, it was a really easy decision. Uh, Dr. Rachel Grimes. Why? Uh, because uh, the Weezer song Jacked Up was featured on the soundtrack to the remake of Dawn of the Dead. Uh, it did pretty well for the band. Uh, it's a popular, well not a popular song, it's a good song that should have been. Uh, thank you very much, Mo. Al Hogan. <laughs> Brad Monroe here. I once saw a production of Cats <laughs> that Maggie Moffat performed in. It was the most presidential thing I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> in a word, 
perfection. <laughs> Dr. Grimes, she wants to give people flowers, Pelt likes flowers. Also, uh, Leo told me on the set of The Revenant, <laughs> Moffat wanted her own trailer where everybody else was roughing it. Phil doesn't like that. <laughs> no plot. So you're picking from these two, are you? Okay. Well, you know what? Usually I'm pro-zombie. I like monsters. But this one, I'm just gonna protect me, protect you from all the zombies. I'm going with crimes. Got to do. I am. Come on, I'm evil. I played uh, Curly in Oklahoma and lost it at high. I know, it was Slim Pickens. And uh, <laughs> Mrs. Oliver, who was, uh, who was the drama teacher, was hanging some lights. And by God, she fell off the ladder, caught her leg on the side. <laughs> it's a little wide open. She's got muscle and everything. She's bleeding there with the guts out. And she said, Someday, Maggie Moffat will be president. I'm choosing Maggie. Maggie Simon C. Johnny Bellows. What's next, America? 100 days. 100 days. You got to shout louder than that, America. I've only heard one thing. <laughs> Let's hear what each candidate is going to do in their first 100 days. Each candidate will have 100 seconds to tell us what they will do in their first 100 days, starting with Dr. Rachel Grimes. All right, first day, making Halloween a national holiday. Get you ready. All right, second thing, education within schools about Taekwondo and how to protect yourselves against zombies. Third, everyone's going to learn science. Right? We're going to learn science because that's the only way we're going to be able to prepare people who get bit. And then the fourth thing, we're going to, uh, those wolves I talked about before, <laughs> that's the secret weapon. That is the plan, America. we got to get the wolves on our side in order to attack the zombies when they come. All right? And then you, man. Yes. Right here. Yes. I think we talked before. What was the issue that was important to you? I really feel like after the zombie apocalypse, friendship is going to be a big issue. Oh, exactly. Mandatory friendship for everybody. <laughs>
foundation, I think, that we have all sprung from in the Western world. There is a play, Titus Andronicus, in <laughs> Well, you can read it. It's out there for you. 100 days! That's yes, nice, America. Sunday News. I'm Roger Smith. With me, as always, my brilliant panel. Tonight, we're talking about our good friends running for president. Miss Rhymes, Miss Moffitt, Jenny Smith, Baltimore Sun. You do the reviews. What do you think? I mean, the bottom line is this. You have the polls, and you look at them, and you say, yes, Ms. Grimes is up in the polls, but what does that actually mean? It means people are afraid. People are afraid of zombies. But let me tell you this, as, as a reporter in Baltimore, there aren't zombies. There are no zombies. Uh, when you're prepared for them, all you're doing is instituting fear into American society. It's not a thing. There's real problems that aren't being addressed, like arts education. Hmm. <laughs> Carl Rogers, for Weekly, how do you think? Well, uh, you know they always take polls of kids in schools? And really, kindergartners are really against Miss Moffat. Uh, I don't know why. Uh, it's probably her position to kick them. Uh, you think that's too much? You know what? She's going for it, and I respect that. You think it plays? They can't vote. Kindergartners can't vote. This is this is not even a topic. <laughs> kindergartners have sway over their parents. They say, Mom, Mom, you can vote for vote for crimes. Mom, you vote for crimes. Okay. I seven-year-old child, and if, if little John wants something, I'd say, great, you're a, he's a fucking kid. <laughs> <laughs> Because I'm an actor who inhabits 
characters. Um, and when I played Elizabeth Bennet, I... Uh, that's time, uh, Miss Marquez. That's time, uh, that is Mrs. Yeah. Frank, would you, would you like? I, I, I definitely like to respond. I think it was a tragedy. Because what it's doing is making zombies playful things that we want to be friends with, that we want to make love to. <laughs> <laughs> we don't. We want to do we, do we want to make love with zombies? <laughs> All right, here are questions for, uh, for uh, Dr. Grimes out there. You, yes, sir. Well, I'm going to ask you about the Dr. Grimes, what would you do if you got bit? Oh. I think about this every night. I think about it uh, coming at me and me not doing the right counter moves. And at a point, I would just go out into the woods. I would write a note to tell people where my research is, where they can go. And I would similar kill myself. <laughs> right? Because I wouldn't want to affect anyone else. Right? Because what did I say? I'm going to do my fifth day friendship. You can't start a friendship by biting somebody. <laughs> Thank you, Dr. Brian. We are halfway there. But we're in the middle of the heat of town hall. Anyone? Uh, Ms. Mom, I'm going to give you one opportunity to uh, follow up on if you got bitten during a zombie apocalypse, what would you do? Um, you were talking about something that did raise a point in my mind, and it was what she said about wanting to make love to zombies. <laughs> Does anyone here want to do that? <laughs> This gentleman, don't be ashamed. I'm saying it's probably not the majority. And I think if we are going to... He's a voter. Is he a super delegate? Um, I think if we live in fear, it's not a good thing. Uh, it's reality, people. It's the reality that uh, zombies will come upon you. And I didn't say make love. I said those books want people to make love to uh, a gripping and thrilling town hall debate. Oh, Lloyd, thank you, thank you so much. At the halfway line, we'd like to do a quick poll of the audience. If you are feeling Dr. Grimes, let me hear a cheer. And as our artistic director, Maggie Moffat, is right here. Sir, I. Uh, as a friend of the super delegate and a, uh, a poll pollster and insider, uh, what are the polls telling you right now? Um, well, it's kind of hard because personally, as a zombie, this whole thing is just <laughs> very, very inflammatory to me. <laughs> <laughs> I just keep hearing this hateful rhetoric against my people and... I told you, they're hiding among us! <laughs> path we're going down, and I don't know, maybe she will be our president. Is that really what we want? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for being brave and coming out as a zombie tonight.
campaign manager. Um, we're we're prepared to offer, and we're going to put on a an attack review of the play. That we've done. <laughs> now we'll give you uh, 30 seconds uh, for 615 million dollars. <laughs> And your time starts now. The reviews are in, and they're not looking good. I gave it two thumbs down. You know, the, the, the characters weren't in it, the writing was horrible, and that Moffat, has she even been on stage before? <laughs> Can I say it, Bob? Overacting? Yes. Yes, thank you. Thank you. We were all thinking it. Her sense of dramatic voice and character. <laughs> We've got a couple of folks who are special interests. If you are a special interest, can you please stand up? We got one, we got two, we got three. Excellent. Special interest uh, endorsements are absolutely critical to uh, presidential campaigns. So each candidate is going to come out here and attempt to earn the special interest. But we're going to start here with Planned Parenthood. Um, <laughs> hi, what's your name? Katie, um, what is important to Planned Parenthood during this particular election cycle? Money. Excellent. Uh, candidates, you, 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 have, uh, you will have an opportunity to earn Planned Parenthood endorsement. We're going to start with uh, Maggie Moffat. Planned Parenthood. Oh my god, are we familiar. <laughs> uh, Uh, who is going to earn your endorsement? 
endorsement this year. It's looking like Grimes. <laughs> Dr. Grimes! <laughs> and last but not least, we've got one last special interest, the Teachers Union. What is it that you are laser focused on this year? And what's your name, oh, also? Every year, my name is Jeff. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, the uh, curriculum, since schools have been in the United States, has always been the same, math, English, science, and we're tired of it. We want new subjects. <laughs> okay, we heard it from the teachers union. New subjects. We're going to start with the Moffat campaign. I'm speaking on behalf of Ms. Moffat who is also my teacher in the arts. Not any art, sir, but the art of tap dancing. And she taught me every time step, and I practice them rigorously, and I'm ready to perform them with my troop. <laughs> my troop, ladies and gentlemen. Miss Moffat was my teacher, too. <laughs> <laughs> Who 
I see you. <laughs> so they're all dead. They're going to die. Yes. Or not. Okay. Oh, we are the order I'm going to put on a production of Cats, and I haven't cast the role of Rum Tum Tugger, I just have to say. Um, Need to bounce right from heaven, eight seconds. Okay. Yes, people right. get ready, because no, I've got to do, I've got to do Stanislavski did the great what if, what if a nuclear bomb was headed to me right this second. Oh my god, that's tough. <laughs> it's not tough. We would take the zombies we know of, and the ones that I've captured myself, and we would put them around. I would throw them!